Hello there, my name is Marco and I've been a Guidoat developer for the past 4 years. As much as I am passionate about creating games with Guidoat, I am also aware that we need money to sustain ourselves. So how can a Guidoat developer actually make a living? Over the years I've explored nearly every possible income source available to Guidoat developers. Today I want to share how I've managed to make money with Goodout and provide you with some ideas to consider. The first source of income is my YouTube channel. First of all, it isn't like the biggest source of income that you may get unless you're a super big um, YouTuber. Because well, at least for me, YouTube is paying me something like uh, $1 for each 1000 views. So well, you can do your own calculations and well, you will see that the money that you make from ad revenue in YouTube isn't much. And it is also quite difficult to actually get your channel monetized because you have to have 1000 subscribers and people have to watch your content for a lot, a lot of hours. So it is not a source of income that you post two, three videos and you're going to get monetized. In most of the cases, you have to really post a lot, a lot of things from different niches see what works best and start doing that over and over again and even when you finally reach that monetization it's not that big what actually gives you money as a youtuber in most cases are partnerships okay or affiliations collaborations promotions etc all those kinds of things that you can do with brands to promote uh, their own things um so that is what what actually gives you money as a youtuber and for example on my own this video was promoted by an ai platform i also got like two or three more videos with them and i also got a promotion in quite an old video um i think it was uh in this one yes uh that i was paid by a um, by an e-learning platform basically by semba uh, that it is a platform that offers a paid courses so well, I was just promoting that platform and actually well these brands do pay much much more than what ad revenue can uh, le leave you and well in my experience the most beneficial thing of having a YouTube channel is the fact that a lot of companies clients or whoever may contact you for projects um, can usually just reach out to you because you do have a YouTube channel and also when you are applying for some kind of job, for some game development job, um, it is quite useful that you can showcase your uh, your skills, that you can speak in front of camera, that uh, you also have a good understanding on how to create YouTube thumbnails, how to edit videos, how to create content. So those are also services that you can sell uh, in spite of just uh, selling your services as a game developer. So I would not recommend this source of income if you need money a little bit faster and that you don't want to spend too much time as you have to do to monetize a YouTube channel. I would only recommend it if you do have the time and resources to spend on YouTube, okay? But if not, I would then say that it is worth it. Now, the things with formal jobs at companies in terms of Guidoat is that it is mostly impossible to find one. For example, here I am on LinkedIn and I will look for worldwide jobs, something like Guidoat uh, Developer, and you're going to see that as you can see, there, there isn't going to be even one. Uh, sorry, this was searched in Argentina. I don't know why. So we look for worldwide. And you can see, well, I don't really have any job position available. Not not um, not only on LinkedIn, but if you look here, without developer position or, or something like that, they are quite limited. So for example, here I did find someone uh, that it is actually closed. Um, but well, this is a senior good old developer and here they, they were asking for something like five years of experience and you can see a lot of things, uh, proficiency in C++. So this is something like it is quite advanced for, for a normal guy that has started using good old just for some years. Um, so well, indeed you do have much fewer options. Um, so for example here, let's see if we are able to find more. Well, so for example here, as you can see, the, the only one that, um, I, I was able to find was that one and well in other platforms if you look for that well you find other positions that are not directly good old developers if you look for example a game developer once again in worldwide for example well, you, we find VR Unity developer mobile developer okay 
um, and if we try to look for, let's just enter in this one, for example, game developer that is this like more general. Um, well, we don't see that here. They are mentioning without they here. Well, they are aren't even mentioning other engines, but um, for example, here they are asking for um, having some experience in, for example, Unity, Unreal, C Sharp, etc. Here in other job, they are mentioning Unity or Unreal. So as you can see, there are literally a lot of formal jobs in companies um, related to Goodout. So a pretty good alternative is that you have a YouTube channel, okay? And here there they, there could be some clients uh, or companies that actually reach out to you because they do want to have some kind of Goodout related service. For example, do you remember when I told you that I got a promotion with Semba that, I, that is an online course creation platform? Well, after creating the promotion, they basically told me that they really like how I explain things, etc. So we jumped on a call and basically they were offering me here a position to create some without courses. And well, some of here actually I created something like 10, 12 courses on without here. Um, that was get created for them. So I, I was able to work uh, for Semba in without courses for something like two or three months. And even af after doing this, uh, here they are uh, uploading the game maker courses. Okay, and mostly every single course of here um, it, it was made by me. Okay, so here you were able to see how I was able to get, let's say, a formal job. This is a, this isn't actually a formal job. It, it's like a contract work, but but anyway, it is a job after all related to Goodout. So indeed, having a YouTube channel and combining that up uh, with looking for opportunities in the formal. Uh, informal jobs is also an option worth considering but well if actually you are dreaming of uh, working at some kinds of company in a normal job let's say probably good out is not the best option okay because as you saw there aren't many opportunities at least right now okay because the the, the industry standards are unity and unreal of course maybe in some years in some months the situation changes but well the reality is that if you want today to have a job a, a formal job as a Guido developer, it is mostly impossible. The third way that is quite interesting is just freelancing in platforms such as Fiverr and Upwork, okay? Here the good thing is that you are the one that is selling, uh, so basically you create your profile, you publish that you are selling your services and clients should start reaching to you, okay? So it is a pretty good way of starting off uh, in both Upwork and uh, Fiverr, you can start with both. Um, so here you can indeed um, see some examples of growth developers. Of course, the the number of growth developers is much fewer than the, that, that, for example, here you can see 300 results. And if you look for Unity developer, we're probably going to be getting thousands. Um, but well, there is a still a little bit of offer uh, in terms of the growth engine, in terms of freelancing. The good thing about this is that you can start charging super super little money and as time goes by and as you start getting some reviews and and as you start building let's say your reliability you can start charging more and more money the bad thing is that usually these platforms takes a, a lot of money from you I, I think that fiverr takes something like um 10 15 or even 20 percent so it is indeed a lot of money that it's taken out from you but well um it is what it is to so start off it is quite a, a good way of at least uh, earning some money and also getting some experience and also clients. And the last one would basically be an indie game developer. Uh, I've done this, well, with Unity, but I've done this anyway uh, for mobile games in the in the Google Play Store. And well, this is probably the, the source of income that I would the least recommend if you are at least starting out. Because you have to spend a lot of time to actually get your game published, to create it, to publish it. Uh, to publish it, uh, etc. And it is quite difficult to actually get a good monetization out of the game. And even more, if you are a beginner, because you don't really have a lot of idea on how to create an engaging game, a marketable game, etc. So you can, of course, create your own games and publish them there as if it was some kind of practice, as I have been doing here. But it shouldn't be your main source of income. Maybe you can leave this for when you are actually uh, someone that has a lot of experience in game development and that can create games quick and iterate over them quick and that uh, has actually the knowledge on how to create a game that will actually sell 
and that you also have the money in order to market it pro uh, properly because an indie an indie game published by someone that nobody knows without marketing in most cases it is just a failure not maybe because the game is bad but because nobody knows you so i hope that this video has been insightful and if so please consider subscribing bye bye